Hello fellow wanderers, I'm Endry, and thank you for joining me as we wander through a bit more of EQ Titan, a new player tutorial. So, we've just gotten out of Glooming Deep, and we need to start actually playing a little bit. So, in this video today, I'm going to go over the first steps to getting up to about level 19. And I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, the first 19 levels are pretty repetitive. You don't really need to do any customization to get them done, and so it's not too bad. So we're starting at Shadney. Let's take a little bit of a walk, shall we? So go ahead and make sure you're doing a follow on and come along with me. I just got done recording some of my touring videos and I was on my bard. I'm used to running really, really fast. So uh, all this seems super, super slow to me, <laughs> but that's all right. So I'm going to continue this series at this point, assuming that you have not gotten any starter platinum. So if no one's giving you any money when you've started up, when you said, hey, I'm new to the server, uh, what's this place like? Can you tell me anything about it? Uh, and people are usually sending you tells full of, hey, you want some gear? I've got some junk. Do you need a little bit of plat? If none of that's happened to you, well, this, is the, this will assume that you don't have any starting plat. If you do have some starting plat, if you know someone who plays, or you got some starting plat from a player uh, that you just met while talking, you might wanna go and move on to what should be my next video in the play series, which is the Twilight Armor Quests. I was gonna do that one next in place of this, but I decided that that might not be correct for some players who are just starting out. So I thought I'd do this like, hey, you don't have anything. You got no help at all. So what do you do? Step number one is you go to the guild lobby. This place is great. It's got buff bots. If you check out my uh, touring videos, I've got one on the guild lobby and the bazaar. Uh, it tells you all about this place. So feel free to check it out. So let's stop over here. I want C2. I want haste. You just tell this person that. He'll give them to you. Uh, it is group wide, so no worries there. Furiona, give me virtue, please. That's your hit point buff. And you, quick runner, I want SOE because it lasts considerably longer than SOW. It's a speed buff plus levitate. I want regen and I want DS. All right, we're buffed up. Let's move out. We are going to go to Pulidul Caverns, which conveniently for this video and for my sanity is a hot zone this week. Hot zones, by the way, get a 0.75 additional modifier to their zone experience modifier. Poodle, I believe, has a base of 1.6. So normally you get 160% of a mob's normal XP. With the bonus, you get an additional 75%. And in a full group of characters, you get an additional amount. I don't know what it is on this server. I think it's 80%. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really weird. And the sixth person, I believe, does not count against your XP taken and split between your group. So you always want a full group, and you always want to have high Zem zones, preferably hot zones. Uh, in this case, I just got lucky. So what we want to do is let's head over to the bazaar here. Do I not have anyone? What in the world? Ah, my people got stuck behind a wall. Good for them. Not really. All right, well, that's going to waste a couple of minutes. The damage shield only lasts for 15 minutes, so you do have to kind of hurry. I do recommend only doing this on a single group at a time. There's really no benefit to be had from doing multiple groups at once. You can if you want to, but for this part, at least for this part alone, there's no appreciable difference between having all of your groups uh, together and just having the one. So I recommend just sticking with the one. And that way it's a little easier if you're first starting to learn how to move around to getting people into positions and things like that. So heading this way, there they are. Follow on. Everyone's here. Okay, we're going to go into the bazaar. And we're gonna run through the bazaar really quick to Shadow Haven. We're gonna run through Shadow Haven to Pooladool. I should have about mm, 10 minutes of the damage shield left. 
And that's really the serious limiter to this part, is the duration of the damage shield. If you have somebody who's got a power leveling bot and they're helping you and they've got a mage with you, uh, then you don't have to come back and do this run over and over again. But I'm going to demonstrate it uh, at least once, uh, a full duration damage shield before I cut out. And Pooloodle is good till about level 20, though I do recommend stopping at about level 19. But I'll mention that again later. Wow, loading times are really long today. Hmm. Everyone here? Yep. All right. So over this way is Shadowhaven. This really is the fastest way to get to where we're going. And I keep forgetting that's the one that they don't put around the corner. All right. Hopefully everybody's about to zone. Uh, just a refresher. Uh, R slash RTZ is run to zone, so we need to get to a zone line. You slash RTZ. Yep, the bane of my commentary, loading zones. Well, one of them made it. Two of them made it. There we go. Everybody made it. Come on, guys. All right. So, yeah, head up here, walk up these steps. You lock up these steps here, and you walk underneath this platform here, and you'll see a couple guards flanking this entrance here, and we're heading right back here, and across a giant bridge. I have no idea what the XP is going to be like in Pooloodle at the moment. It's pretty insane to start with. As a hot zone, I imagine it's going to be absolutely uh, ludicrous. Uh, as far as the XP gain goes. So we'll do a run to zone. I won't take my tank. I just want to make sure they all get through. All right. And here we are. Paludal Caverns. I call it Pooladul. I shouldn't. It's Paludal. Uh, but one thing you'll learn if you watch enough of these videos is I don't know how to pronounce anything. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a quick run through of the area so that you kind of know what to do. And the first few levels, you just have to take it kind of slow. Lead with your tank. They don't have a lot more hit points than anyone else, but they still got slightly more. Hello, Mr. Mushroom, follow me. Everything here is attack on sight, so uh, yeah. Hello, yellow eyes. All right, uh, one thing about this server, uh, if you've played on other servers that you might want to know, is that damage shield damage is automatically attributed to the person that they're hitting. So there's no corpse poofing if you don't deal one point of damage or anything like that. Uh, instantly level three, that's always a good sign. And now level four. Okay, they're dead. Uh, make sure you go through, Wendley Substance, I don't think you can sell, no trade. Perfect Albear Pelt, uh, two gold, but you're not going to find many of them. Um, you walk over here, you just come up next to the wall, run back a little bit, and the cut purses and such will attack you. Drag them back. And the damage shield is going to do all of the work here. I mean, that's just the thing to accept. Uh, you're not really hurting them, and you really won't be for quite a while. Your melee characters will already be set up to automatically engage attack. Uh, so no worries there. And a couple more died. And we make it to level 5. And as you can see, I am already very badly hurt uh, on my tank. Let's have them stop and check their corpses. The gold tooths aren't worth anything. Uh, the pages are actually worth a bit. Oh, by the way, if you need to get rid of corpses that you're not looting, do a slash hide C space uh, looted. And once you come up, it will uh, get rid of that. The gold teeth are no trade. Uh, they're used for a quest. You know, there you go. Uh, bead necklaces, four silver pieces. So just grab the words. 
Uh, and they do drop actual gold. And here's what you really want is the bronze. Uh, they're worth about a plat each. Let's go ahead and loot them. And my tank is badly hurt. So we are going to switch to the monk briefly. Everyone's following. Okay. And that one's empty. Let's see if we can get these ones. We don't really want all four. Oh good, just two. That should be fine. And yeah, this is basically what you're going to do. You're going to keep fighting these until your damage shield runs out. Uh, it does give a chance for your stats to go up. Uh, if your one character gets a little bit too hurt, then just swap the lead uh, to one of your other melees. The Virtue, the Regen, they're doing all the work anyway. And as you can see, we're gaining levels fairly quickly. We already level 6. And the Monk's not badly hurt. The Monk's actually make a pretty decent tank. Oh, and now they're going to run. It's really annoying when they run. Because uh, then your damage shield can't do the work, and they tend to pull a lot of adds. Uh, which isn't by itself inherently a bad thing, but if you're too low on health or your damage shield's about to fade, it could be annoying. Uh, yet again, uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Do you have a... Let's take this out of your offhand. I don't want you to have the lantern. You'll do better with your fist. So he's going to run right over to these guys. So I'm about to get attacked by a bunch of guys. We'll see here in a second. So I'm actually going to just let him go. No? Nothing's attacking me? Interesting. Oh, should my guys finally follow? Oh, one of them. Uh, you can do a slash back off. That will uh, have everybody disengage from attack routines. Uh, and we're going to go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they did attack. Uh, good to know. Uh, they went straight for my tank for some reason. Uh, I didn't even notice they were under attack. And yeah, so we're going to kill them. Another runner. Boy, usually I get lucky and they, they all kill themselves and they don't run, but apparently not today. And are my guys... Okay, come on. Everybody follow me now. Stop worrying about them. They will come and suicide themselves shortly anyway. I do, however, want to make sure... I do want to make sure that I'm get, getting all the corpses. Rune. Oh, one plat. Yep. So yeah, it's always worth it to check the corpses. You do need the money for the Twilight Armor, uh, which we'll get to later. Hello, Mr. Cutpurse. I'm just going to... When they heal up, they will come running back. So, you know, don't be too afraid of uh, just continuing on while you've got a couple people running. They won't get particularly far. Oh, but I'm going to have to do a back off command so that I can switch targets. There we go. And did anyone come back yet? Nope, not yet. But yeah, that's about it. It's a little easier when you've got Twilight Armor, so if you've gotten some assistance, uh, this goes a lot more smoothly. You see, I'm down to about five minutes on my shield again. Uh, the burglar's here too. That's all right. And he ran off. Of course he did. We kill him, and you guys kill them. Be nice. Would be nice. Come on. You can do it. Level 7. Oh, bronze mask. Bronze belt. It's all worth money. All right. Oh, here we go. They've wandered too close to another camp, so I'm going to have ads. Hopefully my tank doesn't die. Sometimes your tank is going to die. It'll get them a little bit behind when they have to run back, but it's not really a big deal. Oh, that one's going after my monk. Good. I don't mind that. Uh, the monk's back at full hit points thanks to the regen. 
and four minutes left of the damn field. The first couple times you clear through here, you're you're not going to make it to outside this camp. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I'm almost level eight already. And the cut purse. And now we've got the foot pads and all of them. So yeah, that's this. You're just basically going through and clearing this camp. Uh, there is more to this cave that I would like to show you, but it's going to have to wait until we do the first recharge. I'm going to take everybody back with me. Normally when you go to get your damage shield rebuffed, you'll just take your uh, tank. Because um, there's no reason there's no reason to cart everybody else around. Where did that guy go? There he is. And as you can see, already level 9. It goes pretty quick. Uh, like I said, I would tend to recommend you do this until about level 19. Uh, you can do it up to 20 to 24. Uh, for the sake of future videos, as far as what I'm concerned, I am going to assume that everyone who's watching this stops at level 19. This is important because of uh, your intelligence casters uh, for reasons that will become more clear later. Oh, your bag is not quite full yet. 31230. Okay. Her bags are full. Did you guys ever kill him? Why do I get the feeling you didn't? Come on. Leave everyone back off. That's the only really annoying thing about this zone. Uh, the runners. Come on. On the plus side, your guys do get better at killing them. Give it enough time. Are uh, you really walking into the water? Fine. You do your thing. I'm going to go. And just clean up the rest of the corpses. Because uh, I do want to grab as much as I can just for the plat. Uh, for those of you who are worried about monk's weight, uh, coins have no weight on the underfoot client. Necklace. Necklace. And unfortunately, because I'm using this character now. Oh, hello, Mr. Burglar. Oh, and he's back. Huh. Oh, right. Racial XP penalty. The XR is a little slower to level. Or something. I don't know why he's so far behind. But anyway. Oh, Yellow Eyes is back. Just in time. Hello again, Yellow Eyes. Uh, so yeah, the respawn timer in here is pretty fast. Uh, about 10 minutes, I want to say. Hi, Yellow Eyes. I don't see the Sensate Renshi. But anyway, I'm going to go get some rebuffs. I'm going to run back, show you how you run back. It's just the reverse of what we did. And uh, yeah, there are several more camps further on in. I'm going to try and fight my way to one this time instead of clearing the uh, first camp completely. I just wanted to get a couple levels under my belt. And I did want to show off. The reason I'm taking everybody back is I wanted to show off. I didn't grab the silver wing box that I should have. Come on, you guys could at least beat his regen, right? <laughs> And if you want to, uh, when you hit level 15 or 16, you can go back and go to the skill trainers in POK, train up your skills. I don't find it particularly necessary. It might help kill things a little bit faster, but probably not a lot. Wow. My guys are awful. But then again, yeah, all I've got is the monk and a bard. Helping out here. 
And of course, my skill is way low for uh, this level mob. Come on, yellow eyes. Come on. Just die for me, please. I probably should just let him run and regen and come back and swipe at me. But them's the skill training. I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run back. I'm going to rebuff. I'm going to get all of my characters up to level 19 here so you don't have to watch this. And I will make a touring video of uh, Polydol Caverns so you know where the camps are to run around as new players. And with that, I'm going to call it a part. So yeah, if you just need to get rebuffs, just take your tank over, grab a new damage shield and a new regen, and then come on back. No reason to drag everybody along with you. So until our paths cross again, uh, until you guys reach level 19, I will see you again next time. Uh, next time at level 19, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to go over a bunch of different little topics. I will start with the Twilight Armor. Hopefully you'll have earned enough money uh, getting everyone to 19 in Pooladool to do the Twilight Armor. And then we're going to branch out into a few extra topics for uh, things like the Titan website and the um, how to do skill ups, things like that in a way that don't violate the server's terms of policy uh, because AFK skill upping is not allowed except for bards because bards are special and skilling up a bard is awful. So, till our paths cross, have fun and be safe, everyone.